today I'm going to talk about all this lovely food. Okay, I'll try and keep this short, but when a fat man's talking about food, uh, I don't know. This all started because I went to 7-Eleven to grab some lunch. I know, you're thinking 7-Eleven? It's surprisingly good chicken. They don't cook it themselves. But I was coming out and I was like, hey, for five bucks, this isn't bad. And it got me thinking, what else can you get here for five dollars? Now you can go to the Karen Darius and you can eat cheap. You've got the Filipino fast food. You can eat cheap. You can go to the super high end stuff. But, you know, a good five dollar lunch can't be beat. So I started looking into it to see what I could find. We'll start with the 7-Eleven chicken that began this whole idea. I'm going to have fun. I hope you do too. What do you get from 7-Eleven for $4? Let's find out. 224 pesos is about $4.50. Candy bar, that's an import, so that was probably 50 or 60. Chips are local, super cheap, probably 20, maybe 30. Smirnoff Mule, man, I don't know, probably 40. I wish they gave me a receipt. That's mine. I'm making a hamburger. The chips are for the hamburger. She got one piece of chicken. I know what you're thinking. 7-Eleven chicken? And I'm not sure. I think this is like 80 pesos. I'll have to look it up and see. Gravy, rice, one piece of chicken. And surprisingly good chicken. I don't know where it comes from. There's... Chopal says it's cooked by Vikings, the local big buffet restaurant. The chicken is delivered from somewhere. I do not know where, but it is surprisingly good. We bought it one time just because it was late and there was nothing else to eat. And then I was quite surprised at how good it was. A lot of cheap eats here in the Philippines. Karen areas, you can eat super cheap. Most of the Filipino fast food, you could probably do two people for five or six dollars. So I'm just going to show you one because it's my favorite. It's mung in a saw. You get grilled chicken, rice, and a drink for about 150 pesos. Depending on the drink and if you want unlimited rice, it can be more. But two of us eat for six dollars. And I have seen many foreigners buying two orders for themselves and they get half a chicken. So you could do a $6 lunch. Well, with only one drink, it would be $5. I've never done two of them. Ooh, that would be good, but unnecessary. MO2 at Smallville is one of the restaurant bars attached to a hotel. Surprisingly, their food is not that much. For this food, uh, I didn't have individual prices, but for that whole table, it was $5 each for the food. The alcohol was a bit extra, especially mine. I had more than they did. Food's pretty good. Go to Molo, get a hot dog, fries, and drink. Five dollars. And it's actually a really good hot dog. They buy them, they said they buy them at SNR. I don't know which dogs they are. I'd buy them myself at SNR. Boracay is known for being expensive, but you know what? They got some good tacos. Best burger I've had in the Philippines is at Two Brown Boys. Tacos are at Tres Amigos. They're really good. More burgers at Two Brown Boys. I mean, they're really good. This is not a special. It's just math. 126 times 2 is 252, which is $5. That one just amused me. Boracay has a lot of good food. The Mung Inasol is also at Boracay, regular price. And then there's a lot of decent places there to eat with reasonable prices. Now, you can spend as much as you want there, but there are a lot of $5 options. We stayed there for five months, and we learned where to eat. At the mall, or at s &R, you've got their pizza. This was pizza and fries and a drink. Speaking of $5... This is 180 pesos, which is less than $5, under $5, but not bad. 
I figured I'd throw it in there because foreigners eat there a lot. There's a lot of these sizzle plate steak houses. This one in particular is closed, but that's a $5 steak. It's a $5 steak, but it's not bad. Uh, at the mall, there's tons of stuff. Sabaros for lasagna. It's Sabaros. Uh, the cheese is not very good, but hey, it's a big meat lasagna. We also have Shakey's, which is something a lot of places don't have in the U.S. anymore. And this whole big sample plate for lunch is $5. That was a lot of food. Pretty good, too. You can go to Pepper Lunch for your sizzling plate of various meats and rice with sauces. I did pay $5 for this Greek food, which was <sighs> supremely disappointing. Rib Shack does a really good ribs, unlimited rice with a drink for right around $5. Now, McDonald's says the burger is not complete without Big Mac sauce. I disagree, but it is a $5 meal. Also, we have Burger King, but no picture. There should be a picture of that. I could have gone to Burger King to research this, but too late. Zark's Hamburgers is actually a better quality hamburger. And they've got a couple different ones. It's somehow the same price as like McDonald's and Burger King. It's, it's shockingly cheap. And it's a very good burger. I tend to go to Burger King because it tastes like America. I love good tacos. But if we had a Taco Bell, I'd go get my good, greasy, nasty tacos. Because uh, that's what you miss sometimes, you know? Doesn't have to make sense. This is the only Filipino food, actually, I'm showing. And this one is shockingly good. We went to Kuya J and they have the beef caldereta or the curry curry. Both are about $5 and they come with four sides. They have cheaper entrees, but those two are primo. They're really, really good. And to get that much food with the four sides for five bucks, and that's a bargain. And that is the best caldereta I've had in the Philippines anywhere, hands down. Even Melanie said it's the best. Across the street from SM is the SM Strata, and there's Akamon, however you pronounce it. Really good ramen and noodle place. The ramen actually is more expensive. It's about five bucks without a drink. I tend to go for like the katsu don. It's the katsu with the rice and egg. And it's a little cheaper, so this with the drink is five dollars, and it's a great meal. So as you can see, there's, I mean, there's tons of really good options here for $5. That will be fair. $5 is high for a lot of people to eat in the Philippines. But for foreigners, vacationing, what have you, it's not bad. And you can get some really decent food. This is just all right here in Iloilo, well, except the Boracay stuff, of course, but I got to throw that in because I love Boracay. And then back at 7-Eleven, what started all this, I get a two-piece with rice and chips and a candy bar for $5. And as I said, it's surprisingly good chicken for 7-Eleven. I don't know who cooks it. I should find out. I've tried asking them and they just kind of look at me funny. I just thought I would show this because there's a lot of good stuff here. A lot of places to eat. You don't have to spend a lot. You can spend as much as you want. You can eat cheap on the street. This is just a good medium price, $5 lunch or dinner. And there's a lot of good cheap eats here in the Philippines. Enjoy your day in paradise. <laughs>